Hey everyone, Chris here and this is a quick update on the ground station that I've been building. Um, right now I'm on uh, channel D. Uh, the only thing I have left is the uh, uh, power connector for here. Um, ended up getting the wrong size in because there's two sizes that are actually a 5.5 millimeter and they sent me the uh, larger internal hole rather than the smaller so the uh, pin didn't sit right. But I'm going to just head down the street, pick one up tomorrow, and uh, since I already have the housing and everything, it goes in. But basically what I was doing here was testing the uh, shielding on my cable that I made, and wanted to make sure that it was very resistant to uh, UHF. So right now I have both my uh, DTF UHF and my Dragon Link transmitting, both on high power, and... I have the wire actually wrapped around the antenna and then down. I also have the antenna stuck inside the clover leaf. So there's basically every possible worst case scenario you could think of. And there is nothing going on right now. I actually have the screen black. Um, but we can see if... Uh, probably won't be able to get it here. But there is no interference on it. So it definitely is a pretty good setup. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. No, maybe not. But no interference right now. And that is a perfect setup. So right now the cable, I just have it running off power because the other end isn't finished. But once this is complete, you'll have a nice clean setup going to the wiring. Uh, There's roughly 10 feet of cable, um, so plenty to go wherever you need. The ground station can be nice and high on a tripod or whatever. Uh, if you had a bunch of people that were uh, FPV with you, uh, you can use the three video outs uh, to go to different goggles and have someone watching the screen. So four different viewing capabilities or a uh, DVR or whatever um, running off this thing. So definitely happy with the uh, cable test and I think that uh, transmitting the 800 milliwatts with the uh, open LRS and the uh, 500 milliwatts of the Dragon Link should have caused some sort of interference if it could actually uh, penetrate this uh, dual wall shielded cable that I used. So if anyone's interested in uh, getting one of these, just get in contact with me and I can either make just the cables or full ground stations. So uh, you can email me or check me out on the forums or just message me on YouTube. I don't check my YouTube messages as much, so I'd prefer any other method. But, thanks for watching.